Hi guys, welcome back. Today's look was inspired by this little beauty. This is the P. Louise base, the pink base, and it's called Winter Rose. It just got me feeling the need to do a pink look, so that's what I've done. I also wanted to do this look using as few products as possible, so other than using the pink base by P. Louise, I'm gonna try and do everything else from the me, myself, and God, I don't know about anyone else, but I really struggle. Me, myself, and no, it's not even that. It's what is it even? It's me, myself, and Mama Mitchell. Try saying that fast. Me, myself, and Mama Mitchell. Ah, oh, that's better. So anyway, the pink base and the, I'm just gonna call it the Mitchell palette because I just sound a bit stupid trying to say the whole thing. Honestly, it's a tongue twister, can't do it. Just thinking about it randomly, at the end of the video, you'll see that I use a lipstick from the Jeffree Star collection, but actually, in hindsight, I wonder whether I should have just used the P. Louise pink base. I think that could have worked. There is just one more thing that I wanted to point out. During the recording of the tutorial, I had a bit of a video mishap. I realised halfway through that it wasn't recording at all. It happens to us all. Thankfully, I was able to salvage the footage. And the other thing that happened is it didn't record any sound. So as I was talking through the video and doing the tutorial, it wasn't recording my voice. After a lot of editing, I managed to edit out most of my moving lips um, and I had to do a voiceover, which is fine because I quite, I actually quite like doing voiceovers anyway, sometimes I think it works better. But that wasn't the intention of the video, but just goes to show, it doesn't always work out guys, you just got to make the best of what you've got and if that isn't good enough, scrap it and start again. So what can you expect from today's tutorial? Pink, pink pink and more pink that's pretty much it anyway i hope you enjoy this tutorial i really really enjoyed making it and yeah i love i love the pink let's get to it simba This is where I realised the video had stopped recording, so we're going to create the look on this eye. This little number was the inspiration behind this look. It's the P. Louise Pastel Base in the colour Winter Rose. So taking the Morphe 441 brush, I'm going to take a very small amount of the P. Louise Pink Base and I'm going to apply it onto my eye exactly where I'm going to want to build the colour. So you can see I'm applying it onto my eyelid into my crease and blending it out towards my temple. Now I'm going to take one of my favourite palettes, the Me, Myself and Mama Mitchell palettes and I'm going to take the colour Milkshake and I'm going to apply that directly on top of where I put the P. Louise pink base and what this is going to do is just set that base in place. Going back to the same palette, I'm going to take the bright pink in the shade Morning Glory. I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner of my eye, into the crease and out onto the wing. And this is just going to add definition to the shape. I'm going to take the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Vulgar. And using a brush from the P. Louise Acid Rain collection, I'm going to line my eye. To set that eyeliner in place, I'm going to take the shade Mini and I'm just going to gently apply that on top of the eyeliner and this will help to set it nicely and firmly in place. Next, I want to properly define the eye and to do that, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner 
and I'm going to create a feline flick. I'm going to create a small flick on the inner corner of my eye and focus on the outer wing and join the two together. And then taking a small smudging brush, I'm going to blend that out and soften the edges. Now the structure of my eye is pretty much complete, I'm going to apply a little bit of bling. I've chosen one of the peaches and cream pigments and I'm using the glitter base just to make sure that I get full colour intensity from that pigment. But having said that, you can always use the shade marine from the Mimima Mitchell palette. I've gone for the peaches and cream disco pigment. Taking a clean brush, I'm going to pack the pigment directly on top of the glitter base which is on the first third of the inner corner of my eyelid. Now it's time for the highlighter and I'm taking the shade Minty and I'm going to apply this directly onto my brow bone just underneath my eyebrow and this is just going to help the eyebrow to pop. That's the top of the eye complete and now we're just going to bring the look together by doing the bottom of the eye and to do that we're basically going to take the same colours that we use for the top of the eye, so Milkshake and Morning Glory, and we're going to apply them to the bottom lash line. Now take the P. Louise Pink Base and just line your waterline. It's time for a little tidy up and clean up any mess. Now I'm gonna take the P. Louise Base and I'm just gonna take an angled brush and sharpen up the outer corner of my eye. And this is just gonna give the look a really nice lift, but you can use any concealer that you already have. And to give this a seamless finish, I'm just going to take a small buffer brush and blend it into my skin seamlessly. I can't resist a bit of white eyeliner, especially for a ballroom look. So I'm taking the P. Louise base in the shade Zero and I'm also taking a brush from the P. Louise Acid Range Brush Trio Collection. And I'm going to just line the inner corner and outer corner of my eye to really help define that cat flick that I've created. To help that white eyeliner stand out even more, I'm going back in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner and I'm literally going to take that right underneath where I applied the white eyeliner. Time for a tatty lash. This time I've gone for tatty lashes, as you know I normally go for the Ardell Demi Wispies and for the first time ever I've gone for an underlash which is the T.L. Mitchell underlash and I have to say I'm obsessed. The next ballroom competition you will see me sporting these lovely underlashes. That's it, that's the eyes done. Now onto the foundation and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and I'm applying that with my gorgeous Morphe foundation brush which I absolutely love because it creates a flawless finish which is of course what we're all looking for. Now we're gonna contour the face using the bronzer and we're going to apply this to the forehead, the cheekbones, the jawline, the edges of the nose and of course the tip. I promised you that we were going to try and create a full look from this one palette. So I am taking the M -M -M Mitchell palette and I'm taking the color Morning Glory and I am applying that as my blusher. So applying it onto the apples of my cheeks, onto my forehead just to bring the entire look together. I looked a little bit like Aunt Sally there. Onto highlight, I'm taking the matte iridescent powder and I'm applying this onto my cheekbones because they're the areas that I want to pop. So remember with highlighter, you want to apply it to any area that you want to bring forward. So I'm applying it onto my cheekbones, onto the top of my eyebrows, in between my eyebrows, down the center of my nose, tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And of course, my chin. It's time for a little bit of lippy and I'm taking the same colour that I used for my eyeliner, the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Vulgar. Now I'm applying this onto my lips, absolutely love the colour, but I really wanted the colour to be more of a milkshake colour. 
for this look that I had created. So all I did was take my P. Louise base in the shade zero and I mixed it in just to give it that real strawberry milkshake look. And actually I'm really pleased with it. So that's it, that's the look complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it and I hope that you have fun and give it a go and don't forget to tag me as I love to see your recreations. Don't forget, if you have any questions or future video requests, to pop them in the comments box below. And that's it for today. If you like this video, as always, please, please, please give it the thumbs up. Please like, subscribe and share. And I will see you guys in the next video.